I was uh, part of a code club in 2014 where they it was run by volunteers um, and they taught uh, kids at the time I was a high school age student how to code um, and I'd always been interested in it and it was a good way to get my um, get familiar with it all um, and then later on when I went to uni to actually pursue a career in coding I got the opportunity to help volunteer for a code club um, over at the primary school next door which I jumped at um, so since then I've been volunteering for Code Club every week and helping teach kids at primary school how to code. A particular country and you have to click mm. on that flag or that country's flag. Alright. Right? Coding at first can seem quite complicated and a bit confusing so Code Club has a really good way of teaching young kids how to introduce them into code in a way that they can love it and look forward to it. But it's kind of really cool when you, you hit that moment where they understand and then they kind of know what you're talking about and then they go on to do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clone flags, chooses a random flag, so it chooses one of the ones that it creates to be the one that you have to pick. If you've ever thought about it, or even if you haven't, just give it a shot and see how the feelings it makes you feel. Uh, I think that fulfillment and that kind of gratitude you get, especially for me, after a big coding session, some of the kids will come up afterwards and thank us for helping them learn how to code. And it's really cool. And we've occasionally had young kids sometimes uh, talk about how they've never actually done it before and all of a sudden they love it. And maybe some of those kids are going to go on and do what you've done. That would be amazing if that did happen. I'd, I'd really love that.